Hello there welcome back to this channel this is module 3 part 1 of Indian tradition culture and society syllabus of this module is pre-vedic and vedic religion buddhism jainism six system indian philosophy shankaracharya various philosophical doctrines other heterodox sects bhakti movement sufi movement socio religious reform movement of 19th century modern religious practices Our first topic is religion. Religion is the science of soul. Morality and ethics have their foundation on religion. Religion played an important part in the lives of the Indians from the earliest times. It assumed numerous forms in relation to different groups of people associated with them. Every system of philosophy in India is a quest for truth, which is one and the same always and everywhere. The modes of approach differ logic varies but the purpose remains the same trying to reach that truth I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world tolerance and universal acceptance We believe not only in universal toleration but we accept all religions as true said by Swami Vivekananda that parliament of world religions in Chicago 1893 Now we will study about pre-Vedic and Vedic religion. First pre-Vedic religion. From the archaeological findings in the pre and proto-historic sites it seems that these people believed in the sanctity of the creative force and venerated the male and female aspects of divinity. It appears that they were worshippers of the forces of nature like the sun and the moon. This belief is also partly substantiated by the early literature of the Aryans. The nature of the religious beliefs and practices of the Aryans is also known from the Rig Veda. They believed in many gods like Indra, Varuna, Agni, Surya and Rudra. The Sama Veda and the Yajur Veda elaborated the different aspects of the sacrificial acts and this ritualism was further elaborated in the Brahmanas. Sacrifices and ritual offering of food and drink to fire in honor of the gods constituted the main religious practices the atharva veda contained a great deal of animistic beliefs the seers entertained doubts about the utility and efficacy of the vedic ritualism polytheism was challenged by monotheistic ideas and the various deities were introduced as different ways of naming one eternal entity The Upanishads represent the early stage in the origin and development of the religion's metaphysical concepts which were used later by the religious leaders and reformers of ancient and medieval India. Some of them followed the traditional lines while others proceeded along the paths of unorthodoxy. Second Vedic religion Vedic period that definite ideas and philosophies about the true nature of soul or atman and the cosmic principle or brahman who represented the ultimate reality were developed these vedic philosophical concepts later on gave rise to six different schools of philosophies called shada darshana they fall in the category of the orthodox system as the final authority of the vedas is recognized by all of them Now we will learn how Indian philosophy has been categorized into Astika and Nastika school of thoughts. First is Astika school. There are six Astika orthodox schools of thought. Each is called a darsana and each darsana accepts the Vedas as authority. Each Astika darsana also accepts the premise that atman soul eternal self exists. The Astika schools of philosophy are Samkhya an atheistic and strongly dualist theoretical exposition of consciousness and matter Yoga a school which emerged from Samkhya and emphasizes on practical use of Samkhya theory This school focuses on meditation contemplation and liberation Nyaya or logic the school of epistemology which explores sources of knowledge Vaisyika an empiricist school of atomism Mimsa an anti-ascetic and anti-mysticist school of orthopraxy. This school deals with the correct interpretation of the verses in Vedas. Vedanta the last segment of knowledge in the Vedas or Janana Kanda section of knowledge. Vedanta is also referred as Uttar Mimsa. Vedanta came to be the dominant current of Hinduism in the post medieval period. 
Second is Nastika school. Schools that do not accept the authority of the Vedas are Nastika philosophies, of which four Nastika heterodox schools are prominent, Kavaka, a materialism school that accepted the existence of free will. Ajivika, a materialism school that denied the existence of free will. Buddhism, a philosophy that denies existence of Atman, Soul, Self and is based on the teachings and enlightenment of Gautam Buddha. Jainism, a philosophy that accepts the existence of the Atman, Soul, Self and is based on the teachings and enlightenment of 24 teachers known as Trithankaras, with Rishabha as the first and Mahavira as the 24th. Some other schools of thought other than Astika and Nastika are Besides the major orthodox and non-orthodox schools, there have existed syncretic sub-schools that have combined ideas and introduced new ones of their own. The medieval scholar Vidyaranya, CE 1238-1317, in his book, Sarva Darshana Samgraha, includes the following, along with Buddhism and Jainism, as sub-schools of Hindu philosophy. Pashupata Shaivism, developed by Nakulisa, Shaiva Siddhanta, the Theistic Sankhya School. Pratyabhijna, the recognitive school of Kashmir Shaivism, Trika, Rasheshwara, a Shaiva school that advocated the use of mercury to reach immortality. The Ramanuja School. The Purnaprajna, Madhvakaya School. The Paninia. Our last topic of this video is modern religious practices. One modern academic theory of religion, social constructionism, says that religion is a modern concept that suggests all spiritual practice and worship follows a model similar to the Abrahamic religions as an orientation system that helps to interpret reality and define human beings. Following image shows some data of a survey held in 2010 number of people who follow or belongs to which religion.